I want to play one exchange that was kind of classic. Well, there were a lot of exchanges that were exchanges that were classic Donald Trump, but this one really stuck out to us. In Nagasaki, we're, we're bombed, but now they're they're like full cities again. So right, it's right, really right. not That's something right. that you know. That's um, right. So it's, it's not it's not as scary as people think, basically. Welcome back. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way is to go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. I had a lot going on today and the electricity was out for most of it, so I don't have a ton of time to edit. But I wanted to tell you all about a clip I saw today from CNN and Dana Bash, and it appears that they're up to their old tricks. As usual, they've deceptively edited a clip from the talk that Elon Musk and Donald Trump had on Monday. And they're trying to claim that the two of them were downplaying the seriousness of the Nagasaki and Hiroshima bombings, when in reality they were talking about nuclear energy being demonized and how it was way safer than people realized. So we're going to go ahead and check out that clip, but I want to warn you as usual that you might want to go ahead and grab that spew bucket now. And speaking of digestive issues, this is caused by a potential toxin that's in all of our quote healthy foods that so-called scientists have been telling us to eat with our fraudulent food pyramid for decades. This potential potential toxin causes digestive issues. And according to Dr. Stephen Gundry, who is a world-renowned cardiologist, this is affecting millions of people nationwide. Warning signs include weight gain, fatigue, digestive discomfort, and stiff joints and even skin problems. Well, Dr. Gundry explains that these side effects are often mistaken for normal signs of aging because digestive issues develop usually over a matter of years and sometimes even decades. Quote, I can assure you that this damage is likely caused by healthy foods and it's far from normal. The good news is you and I can easily fix these problems from our own home. You just need to know which foods are healthy and which foods contain these hidden potential toxins. After years of research, Dr. Gundry has decided to release this informative video to the public for free and uninterrupted showcasing exactly which foods you need to avoid so you can now go and find that information for yourself at gutcleanseprotocol.com forward slash drone that's gutcleanseprotocol.com forward slash drone all right so we have this clip today and i'm on doge design right now uh but i believe this clip was actually originally posted by maze uh, he's the editor for Tom Elliott's compilation videos, if you've ever seen those. Well, let's go ahead and check this out, then I'll give you my thoughts. Uh, I want to play one exchange that was kind of classic. Well, there were a lot of exchanges that were, exchanges that were classic Donald Trump, but this one really stuck out to us. In Nagasaki, we're, we're bombed, but now they're, they're like full cities again. So right, it's right, really right. not That's something right. that, you know, That's um, right. so it's, it's, not, it's not as scary as people think, basically. So that was more Elon Musk than uh, Donald Trump talking about sort of suggesting that what happened almost 80 years ago, I think 80 years ago next year, uh, the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Now it's OK. Um, kind of trying to blow off the, the impact of that. No, actually, that's not at all what they were doing at all. Like we can go ahead and watch the clip, which we're going to do. But I'm telling you right now, that's not at all what they were talking about. They see, as usual, CNN has completely removed the context of the discussion in order to smear and demonize both Elon Musk and Donald Trump. You know, Elon Musk is almost as big a target as Donald Trump right now because he bought Twitter. He took away their election manipulation and disinformation spreading tool. And now they're so worried about what he's going to do with it. All What they're really worried about is that he's going to do with it what they did with it. And... You know, as we know, they do not like being held to their own standards. All right, so let's go ahead and check out this other clip, which will add the context that CNN has deceptively and intentionally removed. Yeah, and actually, it, it, there's, the, there's the bad side of nuclear, which is a nuclear war, very bad side. But there's there's also, I think, um, nuclear le electricity Absolutely. generation is underrated. You're right. Um, and it's actually, you know, people have this fear of, of nuclear um nuclear electricity generation, um, but it, but it's actually one of the safest forms of electricity generation. It's, it's it's just a huge misunderstanding. It's actually not that bad. So so like after Fukushima happened in Japan, like I, pe people were asking me in California, you know, are we worried about like a nuclear cloud coming from Japan? I'm like, no, that's crazy. It's it's actually it's not even dangerous in Fukushima. I actually flew there and 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 ate locally grown vegetables on TV to prove it. Um, and, and and I donated a, a a solar water treatment, yeah, a solar powered system for a water treatment plant. And um, yeah, but you haven't been feeling so just, well it, lately, and I'm worried about it. No, no, but I mean, <laughs> I'm it's, only it's, kidding. It's I'm fine, only... you know. It's it's like uh, 
you know, uh, Hiroshima and, uh, and Nagasaki were, were bombed, but now they're they're like full cities again. So right. it's, it's well, really right. not that's something right. that you know. That's um, right. So it's, it's not it's not as scary as people think. Basically, it's pretty clear that what Elon Musk was talking about was that nuclear energy is being demonized and it's actually way safer than people realize. And if we want to move, you know, past fossil fuels as an energy source, one of the most cost efficient and energy efficient methods that we have available is nuclear energy and so a lot of the left it's really weird they want to use inefficient uh and cost ineffective energy sources like solar and wind when these are just not good sources of energy if they were if they were cost efficient and energy efficient everybody would be using it the government wouldn't have to be constantly subsidizing it i think what we're seeing here it's pretty clear that it's the usual playbook where they're going to take words that Donald Trump has said, completely remove the context, pretend like they didn't hear it, and then just try to convince as many people that this is just more proof that Donald Trump is the monster that they've created by manipulating his his words. And they've done this over and over again. They did it with the very fine people thing. They've done it with the bloodbath thing. They did it when he called MS-13 animals, if you remember. He was talking about MS-13, yet the media removed the context and made it sound like he was talking about immigrants. And to that point, Joe Biden just did an interview yesterday where he tried it out the very fine people hoax. And you can even go to Snopes, which nobody believes is a right-wing source, right? If you go to that, they just debunked it, saying that it's completely false. It might have happened eight years later, but they did it. Almost like they got their usage out of it and now it's no longer useful because most people know it's false. They've gone and they've watched the actual press conference. They can see that he was specifically talking about the left-wingers and right-wingers, regular people who were, you know, protesting over the removal or uh, of a statue. While then there was the extremists on either ends, the Antifa, the BLM, the white supremacists, the neo-Nazis. He was saying those regular people were, were very fine people and we all know that now. But yet Joe Biden can go out there say the very fine people lie once again, and he's never challenged on it. The Whoever's interviewing him never challenges on it. And I think he does it, and literally every interview he does. So just check this out from yesterday. Uh, Joe Biden once again trotting out the widely debunked very fine people lie. When I spoke to the mom who lost her daughter as a consequence of those neo-Nazis and white supremacists come out of fields in America with torches, carrying Nazi banners, singing the same sick anti-Semitic bile that was sung in Germany in the 30s. And when her daughter was killed, the press went to the then President Trump and said, what do you think? He said, they're very fine people on both sides. And I knew then, I knew I had to do something. And that's how I decided to run because democracy is literally at stake. And you know, you, and then he made, he, he evidenced everything that we thought. You know, January 6th, when attack on the Capitol, he talked about now, because he now talks about making sure they're all, take, you know, let out of prison, they're gonna pardon them. Think of this, every other time the Ku Klux Klan's been involved, they've worked, they wore hoods, so they're not identified. Under his presidency, they came out of those woods with no hoods. All right, so what can we glean from that? Well, he thinks half this country are essentially Ku Klux Klan members. What is he talking about? Look it up on Wiki. Uh, on Wikipedia, it says that there's five to 8,000 Ku Klux Klan members nationwide, I believe. And that's probably an exaggeration. It's probably very, much fewer than that. But think about that. That's a drop in the bucket. That's like a few people. And then he says that he ran for president, apparently based on a lie, the lie that Donald Trump called neo-Nazis and white supremacists very fine people. That's insane. Like, he ran for the presidency. He's in his office because, based on a complete lie, a lie that the media was very happy to play along with for many, many years. Okay, you remember it was Jim Acosta who asked the question that led to that. Um, and then they used it for years and years and years, of course, as well as they used Charlottesville for years and years and years and years, right? Because he, he made it sound like a bunch of neo-Nazis and white supremacists killed that woman's daughter. No, it was one guy who was in a car that was being mobbed by a bunch of the counter protesters and he tried to speed off and he, he ran over somebody. So it's, you know, it's not really like Joe Biden is describing it. And then of course he brings up January 6th, calling it an attack to justify the fact he's imprisoned so many people, you know, 
people who hunted down people who were peacefully just standing around the Capitol while Democrat rioters over the course of four years had their charges dropped by DA, uh, Democrat DAs. So we have this two-tiered system where Joe Biden gets on TV, brags about how many people he's imprisoned his, uh, of his opponent's supporters. And then here he's saying, oh, a democracy isn't saved unless I can imprison my opponent's supporters for protesting. You know, that's what it amounts to because it was only around, you know, uh, 372 people who were actually charged with rioting out of 120,000 people who were peacefully pro protesting and then around 1,000 who were walking around the Capitol at the time and then were hunted down later and then had the full force of the law thrown at them. I think it's pretty clear to see that uh, CNN is up to their old tricks and they're going to keep doing it. The media is just going to keep gaslighting and lying to the American people because they think doing so is saving democracy. You know, they tried undoing the 2016 election with the Russian hoax. Then they tried impeachment. Then they tried trumped up charges just before an election from partisan Democrat DAs that ran on imprisoning Trump. Uh, with these charges that nobody's ever been charged with then they tried to take him out with assassination which didn't work out so they're just going to keep trying i guess until the election uh basically campaigning for kamala harris uh while she has not even done an interview yet they're out there trying to uh get elon musk charged you have journalists asking the government to go after elon musk and censor him uh for doing this interview with donald trump it's just completely insane these people cannot see that they are the baddies. So what do you all think? Let me know in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I post on a regular basis. So keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.